Now let's dive into Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. It says this, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to, pre- to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual act of worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by the testing of your faith, you might be able to discern what the will of God is, the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I don't know how much you keep up with the news about our military and our troops, uh, especially those who have come back from overseas. Uh, I read an article several, I believe it's about a month ago now, of the most recent winner of the Medal of Honor. And I would like to share with you his story and how he came to receive that Medal of Honor. Uh, The person's name is uh, Corporal Kyle Carpenter. His platoon was fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan, and they had been in contact for in battle for several days. And how it happened is Corporal Carpenter and his friend Lance Corporal Nicholas Euphrazio were stationed on top of a roof, shooting at the enemy who were attacking them. When a grenade landed on top of the rooftop, Corporal Carpenter leapt between the explosive and his fellow Marine and absorbed the brunt of the blast with his body. Much of Corporal Carpenter's face had to be reconstructed in surgery. He lost his right eye. Doctors had to remove a good deal of shrapnel that he had taken uh, to his head. And they also had to uh, fix his shattered right arm, which they say was broken in more than 30 places. President Obama said this at his um, award ceremony. He said, because we are, he- we are here because of this man, this United States Marine, faced down with the terrible explosive power, the unforgiving force of that grenade. With his own body, he willingly and deliberately protected his fellow Marine. We might say, as uh, citizens, as non-military personnel, why would Corporal Carpenter do that? I mean, it kind of seems illogical to jump on top of a live grenade. Didn't he know it was real? Wasn't he thinking about the life he had to live in front of him? Wasn't he thinking about his family? Wasn't he thinking about his own very life? Yes, Kyle Carpenter knew exactly what he was doing. To us, what Corporal Carpenter did might seem like a very extreme and we might say a very radical thing to do. But to him, to Corporal Carpenter, it was very, very logical, very, very reasonable, and he did it in an instant, not thinking. He reacted. He did this because he was motivated by duty. He was motivated by courage. He was motivated by a love for his fellow soldier. And tonight, I want to see, I want us to see from the word of God that sometimes God's will for believers seems extreme or radical at times. But it is a very reasonable and practical commands to follow. So we're going to get into what all of that means, but I want you to catch this phrase, that radical is reasonable. 